Welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Today I am in Katsura City in Chiba Prefecture, which is the second largest fishing village in Chiba Prefecture. And today we have very special permission to enter a fishing port and see what happens inside. Normally there are no visitors allowed, so we're gonna go inside and we'll see them bringing in the fish. And then of course we'll have a chance to taste the local fish prepared in a very traditional style. So, Let's go explore Katsura City. Ah, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. <laughs> so this is Sato-san. He's going to be showing me around the fish market today. Ano koko de omo ni doyu koto o sareteru in desu ka kono basho de. Koko wa desu ne Chiba ken no Katsura. で、カツオラというのはカツオが有名なところなんです。あのここからまあ一日ぐらい行ったところでカツオを一本釣りするんですね。ここに下ろして、はい、でここで値段をつけて、でそれを日本全国にあのね行くんです。そこでカツオラのブランドなんですけど、はい、どうしてそんなに有名なブランドになったんですか？カツオラはもう江戸時代から続いてカツオラで。あの一本釣りでこうピーンと上げると、それで魚体も綺麗だし、ね、でそれがいろいろな料亭とか居酒屋でそれが評価されてるわけ。だから嘘をつかない、これだったら間違えないと、こういうのがやっぱりブランドイメージ上げてるんです。カツオラは絶対安全だ。あ、すごいですね。これがやっぱり一番大きいと思います。将来的にね、もっともっと大きくなればありがたいなと思ってます。できますよ。なるべく早い方がいい。だいたい六時ぐらいから始めてますので。じゃもうそろそろ,そろもう終わりです。じゃ見に行きましょう。じゃ行きましょう。Let's go。This is apparently the number one company for pulling in katsuo fish or bonito fish, and it's called the Myojin Maru. All of these kind of top brand fishing companies. They don't use a net to take in the fish. They actually fish them one by one, and you can see the fishing rods over there. They're all lined up. When you bring it in with a huge net, it tends to get damaged, and that's it. Kind of ruins the quality of the fish. So, the highest quality fishing companies they fish them by hand. Amazing. Normally, we would be able to eat some fresh fish at the morning market, but it's closed today, unfortunately, due to the rain. But I'm gonna go try some fresh fish at a restaurant nearby. So, Kyoa, arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. Kyoa, shudai shite mo atte arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. It was so much fun filming with him today. Beautiful Japanese inn. It's time for a bite to eat at Kappo Nakamura. This is a really popular restaurant in this area, and today I'm going to be trying a dish that has historically been eaten by fishermen. Let's go check it out. They have a lovely Japanese-style seating area. It's very cozy. ご注文いかがいたしますか。ちょっとなめろうを食べてみたいんですけど。はい。はい。うちのなめろうが今日はカツオですとかヒラメ、ヒラマサなどが入ってまいりますね。いいですね。じゃあぜひそれを一つください。はい、ありがとうございます。What's special about なめろう？ It consists of various types of fish sashimi all mixed together, and then the fishermen would be able to actually make it on the boat. The name なめろう actually comes from the name Nameru, which means to lick. All right, let's give this a taste. So there's a few different ways you can eat it, but first I'm going to try just with the vinegar and see what the flavor is. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm, very fresh and very sweet. This vinegar is actually really on the sweet side. Um, basically, it's a fish tartare. So and it's minced up very finely, so it's very soft, but it's also got a little bit of like a、uh, little bit of chew to it. Let's try with some different flavorings because you can also eat it with soy sauce, kind of like a traditional sashimi. Okay, here we go. Yum. Oh, that's a completely 
different flavor that is a little bit more like a traditional Japanese sashimi dish and I love that the fact that this is a historical Japanese fisherman's food hearty delicious not necessarily pretty but the main point is it's hearty all right I'm gonna finish this off lick the plate clean and then let's go find our next fish dish My second stop today is a restaurant that's actually right in front of the fishing port where we were this morning. It was a little bit too early to actually go to the restaurant, so now that it's a little bit later, let's go inside and we're gonna try some fresh maguro, aka tuna, and katsuo, which is bonito in English. <laughs> All right, so now we're inside the restaurant and we're gonna have a little chat with the owner. This restaurant is but how long it open? I'm 48, I'm 7 years old. I'm 7 years old. I'm not a kind of food. I want to do a kind of food. I want a kind of food. I want to do a kind of food. I want to do a カツラに食べに来てくれるっていうのをコンセプトにしてお店始めたの。私魚屋だから。目利き目利きだから。だからカツラの味を知りたければ私の店に食べに来ればカツラの味がわかる。なるほど。じゃあ今日はカツラの味
And I think I'm going to have to get that. Okay. じゃあそれ一つください。はい。Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I'm excited. <laughs> はい、あのどうやって思いついたんですか。遊び心。おお、なるほど。<笑>そう決まり決まったものじゃなくてね。うん、最初はあのお刺身の伊勢海老を作るじゃないですか、はい。その時に頭が残ってしまうんですよね。これちょっともったいないなと思ってご飯を入れてこうスープにして。食べたら、他の人がみんな美味しい美味しいって言って食べるんですよね。すごい。だったじゃ、これ商品にしたらいいんじゃないかなと思って、そこからスタートしたんです。いいですね。very interesting story behind this risotto。but it's time to give it a try。like this。wow。okay。ほう。that's a lot of meat inside。look at this risotto。look at that。Here we go. いただきます。うん。おお、that is super super good. Because I didn't expect a lobster to go so well with risotto. I think what makes it the perfect match is it's a little bit of um Asian style risotto, not quite Italian style. So the flavor matches really well with the lobster, and the lobster. Is super super meaty. The risotto is so creamy. This place is covered by a major TV show, and I can see why because this was so good. Well, that concludes my day here in Katsuura City. I had such a fun time here. And if you guys ever come check out this town, make sure to check out this restaurant because the food is amazing, and you'll be able to meet this wonderful couple who owns the restaurant. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Which dish do you want to try the most? And we'll see you guys very soon in another video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.